Hey everybody, this is Jennifer Priest, and um, I decided it's a lot easier to do the daily scrapbook page live so that I don't have to edit the video. So I'm getting ready for the CHA show um, coming up in Vegas, and um, <clears throat> I just have a lot of stuff going on, and editing the videos is a little tough when I just have like so much stuff to do. And then the kids are going to be leaving to go see their grandma in North Carolina. So I kind of want to get in as much time as I can with them. So that's why I'm doing the video live. And then I had this conversation with um, one of the people from Clear Snap. And we were talking about YouTube videos. And one of the things she, you know, we kind of, we'll, we'll like trade, you know, little, uh, <clears throat> different people who are on and we'll look at different YouTube videos and talk about like what do we like, what do we not like about them and one of the things that people really like is if the person is in their video and you know sometimes you'll need like multiple cameras to do that and um, you know one of the things I was telling her is I'm not, it's not that I'm afraid to be on the video I'm like I'm okay with who I am, I know I'm overweight and all that it's that most of the time I'm in my pajamas, my hair is crazy, <laughs> I'm trying to get like a bunch of stuff done. So I look crazy, so that's why I'm not on the video because <clears throat> I don't want to have to subject you guys to that. But I figured I would go ahead and be on the video. You can see my hair is all frizzed out because I didn't do anything with it other than, you know, wash it. Um, I have no makeup. I'm wearing my old pajama shirt and pajama pants because this is what I wear during the day. Um, if I have to go somewhere, I get dressed, but <clears throat> most of the time I'm just like in my garden or in my studio working, and um, I want to be comfortable. I don't want to have to wear slacks. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get started on the video. Um, thanks for tuning in and listening to my thoughts about being on camera. I'm going to try to make an effort to be on camera more. And I'm going to try to do some stuff from CHA. So we'll see how that works. I don't know what my internet connection is going to be like. Um, so we'll see what happens. All right, I'm going to switch over to my webcam so that you can see all the stuff that I'm going to be doing on my work table here. All right, so I'm going to move my laptop out of the way. I still haven't figured out how I can see, like, if there's chat. Let me see. Oh, there's chat. Tran joined, Tran left. <laughs> it's tricky trying to figure all this <clears throat> all this stuff out, but I really like the Google Hangouts. Oh man. So I I thought I didn't have any more craft paper in my garage, but I do. And I found some. Um, mm -hmm. my table is pretty wrecked. It has a lot of paint on it, and so I thought I would put some craft paper to kind of make it look a little better. In the background, you're going to hear um, the cats acting crazy. In fact, this is Marshmallow, and this is what she's playing with right now is some flowers. So the cat is is totally nuts. i got to find my paper trimmer. We cleaned up in here last night, and I think we cleaned a little too good. All right, so I'm going to go give the cat her flowers back. Oh, so here's my trimmer. <clears throat> I got a Fist vs. Fuse um, at the last CHA, and I really, really want to try to use it. But I haven't sat down to read the instructions yet. So that's going to be like my next project. I might use it tonight. I don't know what I'm doing. I just have a pile of stuff. And... I'm just going to see what happens. So I went through a bunch of old scraps last night, and I found all this paper. This is from a banner that I made for somebody. And then I just had all these other, like, die cuts and little odds and end type things, and I thought, well, I'm going to try to make a layout out of that. You know, one of the things I'm really trying to do this year is, like, use what I have, use my stash, because one of the things that happens is um, 
you kind of forget that you have stuff and then by the time you get around to using it it's old or out of date or maybe your kids aren't little anymore so that you know cute little baby jungle paper just doesn't make sense for your 14 year old daughter so um, it's good to use your stuff try to use your stash before you go and buy more and kind of right before the CHA show is a really good time because that's like a good reminder, you know, to get your stuff. Uh, to get your stuff used up. All right, so this is a paper that I cut on the silhouette. And one of the things I like that silhouette is doing is they're doing these backgrounds for 99 cents. You get the background, and it's about, I want to say, like 6 by 6 or 8 by 8. And then you just drag it and make it big enough for your 12 by 12. So um, you can see people that will go and they'll punch like the little things out or hand cut them out. But this way you get that little look of like a lace paper, but not really a lace paper, like where there's little things poking through. And you could make this yourself too. You could just draw circles or hexagons. But for 99 cents, I would rather just buy it and then I can use it over and over or I can just cut little pieces out. Like I can um, do the ungroup and then just cut certain parts out if I wanted. So it's a cool way to get that neat look that people are doing on their layouts without a lot of work. Now on the side here, I had it cut a little too close and this paper ripped. So I'm going to have to fix that up. And then one of the hard things is trying to decide what to put behind it. Like I really like this cool um, chevron paper. But I don't like the idea of losing the whole piece of chevron paper to put it behind here. So I can cut that up to do that or, um, you know, try something else. I also like this green. This is all um, jelly bean suit paper. It's super cute. I got it at the last CHA show. So that's one of those things where it's like, hey, you better use your stuff up before you go buy in more. And I kind of like the dots and the chevrons. So I think I'm just going to cut some of this up so I can place it behind here. Now I did a layout like this earlier this uh, week. It's like pink and purple and gray. And it has um, triangles cut out of it. It's super cute. And it looks really good with the Bowser designs. Um, triangle templates from the Crafters Workshop. I use those to ink, to ink it up. And then I'm just going to use this whole big section of this. So this one I'm not that concerned about saving. It was a scrap from something else. But I do love this guy. And I like both sides. I hate when that happens. So <clears throat> I'm going to try to be conservative with this one. And only cut a little bit. That's all I'm going to cut it out. All right, so I have my handy-dandy ATG, I have my good Westcott scissors, and all I'm going to do now is turn it over. I do like the back of this, too. I'm going to turn it over and just start covering up some sections with my little chevrons. In fact, I think this ATG might be too big. So I got this Basil um, little tape runner thing from Clear Snap in one of our like design teeny type boxes, and um, I'm really loving it. It works really good. Hmm. How? I want maximum coverage. This is when I would normally fast forward on my video. Because <laughs> oh. it gets kind of boring watching this kind of stuff. But what you going to do?
Got to make sure all my Chevron goes the right way. And you can always turn it over, too, to look and see what is going on with it. Hmm, I need a bigger piece of this. And then this is the side that tore, so I kind of want to reinforce it with a little bit of extra paper here. Okay. Yay! All right, so now that's done, and I gotta figure out how I want it to go. Yes, it's gonna go like this. I don't like that. I like it like that. I don't know. It's a little crazy. So what I might do is some pop dots underneath, just to help kind of differentiate between those layers a little more. And then this guy I was going to use as a mat. All right, so I'm just going to use some of these little pop dots under here to kind of help with giving this a little bit of depth because the pattern on pattern is a little nutso.
I'm like, I'm trying to see if any of you guys are on here because it's like, I don't know, it's displaying funny. All right. Okay, so I'm just trying to add some dimension here because this pattern on pattern is just a little nuts, looking a little crazy. I'm just sticking some pop dots underneath in a couple places where I feel like it needs to be. It needs some better action. Eh, maybe I'll slip some little things under there. I don't know yet. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and add my little mat right there. Hmm. I think I'm not going to ink. All right, this is some, I don't know whose paper this is, pink paisley? No. I can't remember, but it's a Christmas paper, and I found it in my stash. And like I said, just use your stuff up before you go buying all that new stuff. And it's it's totally okay to use stuff that's um that's old, you know, and it's not like meant for like this is Christmas or whatever. Alright, so this is a die cut that I made also on the silhouette. <clears throat> and what's kind of fun is just to take a um a whole page on the silhouette, like a whole 12 by 12, and fill it up with all kinds of fun shapes, and then cut it out and see what happens. All right, so I have these are left over from the triangle layout, and I thought they might be fun to use on here. And then this one's fun. I don't know if I like that quote. I love, love, love these sheets where you have all this fun stuff that you can cut out because they make really good embellishments. And it costs the same as the paper. All right, now I, so this sheet, when I was talking about cutting out a sheet, I cut out the same stuff out of gray as I did out of um, that green. So here's that same shape. And this, um, my whole thing was like out of alignment. But, um, so I had these other things that didn't come out good. But I could totally use some of this gray stuff here on this page. So I want to take this guy and I'm going to put him down here. Do, do, do. And I'm not a fan of single photo layouts, so even though I have one mat, it doesn't mean I'm only going to have one photo on this page. Typically what I'll do is probably put like one big photo here and then have like a little line of a bunch of little photos over here or, you know, maybe another focal point photo here or a photo even on there. I just try to think practical because... You know, once you start doing these scrapbooks with one picture and you have all these pictures, like this week we went and did like six things. That'd be six, at least six different pages. If I only have one picture on each, I'm not going to capture much of what happened. All right, so I just mounted this guy flush to the bottom. And I could use these arrows use these little triangles as arrows, or I could do them as a banner. I don't know yet what I'm going to do. But I do know I want to layer these guys. So I'm going to pop it up. I'm trying to use up all these pop dots. What happens is I will work on something, and then I find... I'll throw everything in like an art bin when I'm trying to clean up, and then I'll go and open a new pack of foam dots, and then <laughs> I'll throw that in the art bin, and so these foam dots are actually all from two art bins that I cleaned out last night. Oh, you guys can't hear anything. Oh, crap. So can you guys still hear stuff? Huh. Oh, muted, not muted. Bandwidth settings, exit, no. Hey, Rena, can you let me know if you can hear it now? I 
It's showing that it's picking up my voice on my side. Oh, sounds like you're typing, so we muted your mic. Okay. Let me unmute. So can you hear me now? I sound like that stupid Verizon guy. Hey, Xaver, they can't hear the sound. That's going to be cruddy if I do this whole thing and there's no sound. Ah! Screen share, capture, cameraman. No, I don't need effects. Hey, Rena says she can't hear the sound. But it's showing, look at, see when I'm talking, it's doing its little boo hickey thing. What are you using for the sound? Go to um, settings. And, Default uh, device. Microphone. That one or this one? Whichever one you want to use. I don't know which one I want. Which one? Um, I'll use that one. Okay. So can you see it now? Oh, was the cat just on here? I totally didn't even see what the cat's on here anymore. Ah. I got to find the middle to that R and the O. I don't know where the heck it is. Oh. What? That's not part of this. That's something else of this crap. So, hey, Rena, can you hear me now? Oh, I hate saying that because it sounds like that stupid Verizon dude. Yeah, that's square right there. What? You just... Oh, thank you. All right, that's for the... Oh, I think. All right, I hope you guys can hear it. I, we just changed which microphone it's coming out of. So if you could let me know in the chat if you can hear it, that would be fabulous. I don't know. I'll find, I'll find it, Xaver. Oh, it's like a D. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is the same thing, just on another color. Where is this? Oh, yeah. Oh, my foam dot is too fat. Let me cut it. All right, I hope that you guys can hear me. Can you let me know in the chat, please, if you can hear anything? Because I can switch to another microphone that's the one on the the um, computer itself. Maybe there's a lot of people doing Hangouts or something. I don't know. Well, hopefully it's recording it, even if it's not playing it. Well, you're going to hear all that stuff in the background, the kids and all the craziness. <coughs> so a lot of this stuff is just scraps. My friend Tammy I does this really cool thing where she'll take her scraps and right away punch them into shapes. And so I don't do that as um, religiously as she does. But every once in a while, I'll remember to do that, and I will punch some shapes out. So these are just a bunch of, like, stamps and other things I punched out of some paper scraps left over from a kit. Mm, I don't know if I like that there.
And then this is a little arrow. I don't know if they can hear me or not. I have no idea. Do you want to use, you're going to try to go on that computer? Oh, I need tech support, you guys. I don't know where you watch it, if it's, but you can get to it from Facebook, Zaver. I guess I should keep talking. Oh, you can hear it? Okay. Well, it's working on my other computer. We'll turn it off. <laughs> All right, so hopefully you guys can hear me. All right, so I'm just going to use these little uh, triangles as like spikes over here. I do like the other side of that. It looks kind of like teeth, though. I don't know <sighs> if I like it or not, but it is what it is. So it's funny because, like, people think, I don't know if everybody else is like this, but I am just like, ah, oh, stick stuff down, see what happens. It's not like I go in with a total plan or there's a lot of rhyme or reason to it. I just kind of stick stuff down and see if it looks good. And if it works, then I leave it. And sometimes stuff is great and sometimes stuff is not great. And it just, that's how it works out. So I don't, um, I really don't stress about, like, design that much. And maybe I should, but I... This is supposed to be fun, so I just try to have fun with it and play around. You know what I mean? There's some stuff you could do, like rules of threes or a little triangle, you know. If I'm going to put those guys, it should be in a triangle. If I'm going to put more of them, I should have five of them. So there's some stuff like that that you could definitely, like, you know, from design stuff. And a lot of people's blogs, they'll talk about, you know, design and how to make stuff look good. So, you know, you want to use odd numbers and that kind of thing. But once you start doing that, after a while, you don't even really think about it. It just starts to be something that you do all the time. I do you like that circle? So now to do some fun stuff. Let's see what I got that's fun. All right, smooch is super fun, so I thought I will use a little bit of this to outline some of my letters on here. Basically, it's a metallic pearlized ink, and it comes with this little brush. I don't know if you guys can really see that very well, but a little tiny brush, and I'm just going to use it to kind of go around the edges of 
my little die cut here. To give it some dimension and just make it kind of fun. And this color, I want to say, oh, I can't read it. It's silver something. I forget the name. They have really cute little names. But the smooch it also comes in a glitz, which is like a glitter, and then a spray form, which is smooch spritz. And it's something that you see as the light hits, as the light hits it. So it's not always totally apparent. It does have color. This one, you're not going to see the color too much because I'm using it, a silver on a gray uh, piece of paper. But it is really fun. So, CHA's next week, and I know that I should be, like, really excited, but it makes me tired. Because it is exciting, and it's, like, one of those things where it's, like, you have so much to do before the show, and it doesn't matter how much I prepare, it seems like I'm always trying to do things last minute. And I guess maybe it's just I try to add things on last minute, but um, I am doing less at the show, so that means I have less to prepare which is nice, but I'm really trying not to wear myself out before the show because that can happen. You get there and you're already exhausted and you haven't even started doing anything. So it starts bright and early on Monday morning at 8 o'clock. And if you're going, I really encourage you to come and um, see the designer roundtables. That's going to be from 8 to 10. And we do like it's basically a round table. So there's going to be, usually it's like eight to ten different tables, and each table has a different topic. And everybody's welcome. It's called designer round tables because usually it's the designers that are hosting the tables and presenting the topics or moderating the topics. Um, but sometimes we have manufacturers that come and um, they will talk to, the, you know, they'll run a little table or we'll have retailers that will come help. Um, so it's just something that we, as the designers, put on. And that's the CHA designer member uh, section of the trade association. So you sit there for 20 minutes and you just talk on a topic. And, you know, usually the, the moderator will present some info or they'll help kind of moderate the conversation. Um, and I am going to be presenting on why you should be on YouTube. And then my other one is on how to be a good design team member. And I think that's really important because a lot of time for us designers, we don't have somebody like telling us how to do things right or wrong. Like we just kind of model things after other people. And we may be modeling them after the wrong person. It doesn't mean that person's not a nice person or not a good person. It just means they might not be a good design team member or a good mentor or model for us. And, you know, sometimes we'll ask people advice and we get all different kinds of advice. So I thought this would be a good topic because, you know, I find this in running design teams and also being on design teams that sometimes it's kind of difficult to figure out what's right, what's wrong, what you should and shouldn't do. All right, so now I'm going to use some of this smooch um, accent ink to outline some of my little... Uh, hexagons here. It's funny, if somebody says that this is an octagon, I will always see somebody like on Facebook saying, no, it's not an octagon. People will, people will be correcting other people. It's kind of funny. So anyways, yeah, if you're going to the round tables, I really encourage you to go, you know, in that two hour period, you could go to six different topics. And it's a great place to meet people and to network because you don't know who's going to be sitting at the table next to you. Um, it might be the owner of a company. It might be an awesome artist. 
It could be a retailer who you've wanted to connect with or who wants you to teach at their store and you just never had a chance to talk to them. So it's really cool and you learn so much. So it's a good way to kind of kick off the show. And it's it's pretty casual. I mean, you know, we rotate the tables and it's timed and all that kind of stuff, but it's pretty fun. So this color I use is spruce. This is one of the brand new colors of Smooch Accent Ink from Clear Snap. And now I'm just gonna go in with Kiwi and outline some other ones. And I mean, you can spend hours on your layouts. I'm, I'm not usually one to do that. This is a little more involved than I usually get um, on a scrapbook page. And I like to get in and get out, get my stuff done. You know, I don't want to spend hours and hours. I also don't want to spend $50 putting stuff on a page. I don't, you know, I, um, I try to be practical in it because, again, we want this to fit in our scrapbook. We want it to have some interest. The point is to, to, for, you know, to keep a place for our memory. So if it starts to get a little crazy, it stops being about the memories and about all the pictures, like especially these one, not that it's not pretty, but these one photo layouts where they've cut the picture out and so all you see is like the person, not what it is. It's not journaled. It doesn't have a title. And it's just like a ton of flowers on a layout. They're very pretty, but sometimes it's just not practical. All right, so here's a secret you guys are going to see. I don't like to put embellishments away. It drives me nuts. So I have a, it, it kind of grows and grows and grows until finally I like pay one of the kids to put this stuff away for me. Um, this is a huge thing of embellishments that are just left over from different projects and um, it's a little crazy, I don't know. <laughs> and there's like 80 stick pins in here so I kind of have to be careful. I'll use like something else to kind of dig through it so I don't get stabbed. Oh, there's yellow buttons in here, I like those. It's like sometimes you just want a big jar to dig through. You don't want to you don't want to have to go and know exactly what you're looking for. And sometimes I'll find like something really cool that I didn't think to use for layout and you know, it'll be really neat. All right. Oh, I like this color of yellow. If I could find more of those, that would be awesome. Well, this guy's kind of fun, too. Oh my god, these stupid pens are sharp. Okay, so I got some buttons. I try to use from that before I go and get any other new stuff because it's never going to get put away. It's just a disaster wreck. I do like this thing. This little tab thing from Pink Paisley. They're pretty cute. I don't know if it goes with what I'm doing. Mm. Alright, so I'm a big fan of hot glue, and this is because I do not like stuff to fall off. I don't like to wait all day for it to dry. Um, I just want to get in, get out, and be done. I know these are like two different kind of yellows, but I'm hoping it'll work. <laughs> oh. All right, so I always have my hot glue gun plugged in on my table because it's fast. And, like, if you're doing stuff for trade show work, which I don't do that often anymore, but if you do make something that you want to be displayed vertically or you're going to go have it at, like, a show or even if it's something you're going to put on a, a layout, you're going to put, like, on the coffee table and a bunch of kids are going to mess with it, you definitely, definitely want to make sure that stuff is not going to fall off. So again, I'm using that rule of threes. 
that little triangle idea here with this. Uh, I think this is good. I think I'm happy with it. I'm good. So that's all for today. Thank you for joining me. And now I'm going to go put my pictures, and I think what I'm going to do is put one big picture here and then have the rest of my little pictures small, and then maybe one right here. And I think I might do my county fair pictures. We just went to the county fair this weekend. So thanks a lot for joining me. I hope that this inspires you to get out your stash and scrapbook it and um, just kind of put things down and don't worry so much about perfection. Get your things done and try something new. Like I tried the smooch spritz on here, or the smooch accent ink to outline my little shapes. All right, thanks again, and um, I hope to see you guys soon.